it's never uh, it's never easy for someone to to bear his soul especially in social media and uh, It's very hard to um, admit the mistakes, uh, the weakness, the emptiness, all these, all the misguided ideas and notions that have contributed to this sad predicament. And um, it is a very, very sad predicament for me personally. It has been a living nightmare. Uh, the past few months and um, I can't do it any longer I just I just can't pretend that I'm doing all right I'm not all right I've been lying to myself to my loved ones and to my acquaintances over the internet The sad and dark truth about me is that uh, uh, I was trying, desperately trying to fill this huge emotional gap inside of me and uh, I've had serious trouble at home, at work, I'm constantly depressed and the medication doesn't help me anymore. Sometimes it's so hard to even get out of bed in the morning. I feel like I weigh a million tons. Other times I get so aggravated, so angry, so furious over the most insignificant of things. I snap at everyone around me without any good reason. I have a very bad temper. I have yet to recover from the loss of my father three years ago and the breakup from my girlfriend which I was a hundred percent responsible for every single time I managed to reach some level of understanding I threw it all back and ruined it until it was irreparable and just couldn't be fixed And you know what the worst part of all this is? That I actually thought that it was all right with me. There was nothing wrong with me, you know. That the blame was always to lie on someone else. It was just like living inside a bubble, a bubble of illusion. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting emotional, but um, it's very hard for me to do this, you know. Now, I have to go on with this, as I was saying. I didn't realize what I was doing to myself and to others not until this morning I woke up as usual made myself a cup of coffee and went outside to feed my cats we have five cats one female and four males 
although one of the males might be gay. He seemed to be flirting with another male cat. But that's not the point, I'm sorry. As I was saying, I was about to feed the cats. So I went up to the closet we have on the porch. I opened it and took out a can of cat food. Chicken pate. I opened the can, put the chicken pate on the bowls and stepped back so that the cats would eat. Because you know some cats, not all of them, but two or three of them are a little scared of me, so I backed off a little so they could eat. And after, after a few moments I realized with horror what I had done. I could not believe it. I just couldn't believe it. Now, it's Saturday. And on sun Saturday it's it's salmon day. I always, always feed my cats with salmon but on Saturdays, not chicken. <sighs> How did I lose myself like that? How reckless and irresponsible have I become? As I looked into my cat's disillusioned little eyes, those innocent feline eyes, they were like talking back at me. You know, why did you feed us chicken on Saturday? It's Salmon Day on Saturday. And it was like a stab in the heart watching my poor babies puking all over the lawn afterwards because their little tummies just aren't used to chicken on Saturdays. It was horrible. <laughs> horrible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I hope you'll be fine. I, I'll be fine. Now I know, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know why I've been living in lies and illusions all this time. I had a long talk with my mother, my sister, my brother-in-law and a cashier in the supermarket. And they all made it very clear to me what's wrong with me, you know. It's so clear now, and I'm surprised I couldn't see it either. It was there in front of my eyes all this time. It's gaming. It's all this... fucking games. Completely useless. It's so wrong, both for my age and my future aspirations. For God's sake, I'm 43 years old and I'm still thinking about games all the time. Instead of normal things like women, football, uh, I don't know, normal things for a guy my age. Instead of going out to meet new people, I'm stuck with all this riffraff, these delinquent and abnormal people over the internet. There's such bad influence, you know. They are the people who have reinforced my obsession for games. They have been enabler, enablers for this kind of behavior. Really, really strange characters. I mean, Take for example this woman, looks like a witch, she's always playing this stupid game for hours and hours, this game with blocks, building castles and fighting zombies. Is that, 
Is that a normal person? I don't think so. Then there's this there's this other guy who says he's a doctor, but he admits he openly, unashamedly admits that during his training, instead of looking after patients, he was playing with a yellow Game Boy. Can you believe this? Would you actually trust your life to this so-called doctor? Another guy, obviously deranged as well, he also plays these idiotic childish games and his friends and compatriots with the doctor I just told you insane. The insanity doesn't stop. Also another guy from Scotland this time, a father of two children, two children, well maybe three, I don't know, I'm not sure, but that's not the point. He, the point is that he's another loser. He plays with his arcade games all the time. Yeah, ar arcade games. Like Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man and Space Invaders. Again, kid stuff. His kids should be playing those games, but him, a father still playing old kids games? No, that's wrong, that's disgusting. And the list goes on and on and on. There's this other unbelievable guy from, from America who is supposedly serious and again a family guy, but he spends all his time and money in games as well. And not just that, he plays all these shooting games, you know, these violent, horrible games, glorifying violence and antisocial behavior. Can you believe that I used to respect these people? I used to look up to them and I wanted to be on their side. I wanted to feel like I belonged to their group. I started spending all of my money on crappy games and crappy old computers and game consoles hoarding all these <coughs> these empty and meaningless machines surrounding myself with symbols of my inadequacies and insecurities because that's exactly what they are But that was yesterday. I used to be a gamer, yes. I admit it. I'm coming out and I admit it to the world, unashamedly and without fear. Because I've made up my mind. I've seen the light and this, this has got to stop now. So this gamer, this gamer is no more. He has ceased to be. He is expired and gone to meet his maker. He is a stiff, bereft of life. He rests in peace. If you had nailed him to the perch, he would be pushing up the daisies. His metabolic processes are now history. He's off the twig. He's kicked the bucket. He's shuffled off his mortal coil, ran down the curtain, enjoyed the bleeding choir invisible. This 
is an ex gamer. And now, if you'd excuse me, I have to start my new life by doing something I have never done before as a symbolic gesture of my new determination and new outlook to life and indeed the whole world. No more childish misdeeds, no more following unreliable and clearly unstable individuals, no more abstaining from my real duties as a man, a brother, a husband, a father, and a law-abiding citizen. I have to start my new life with a symbolic act. And that act is playing Super Mario 3 on the Nintendo Entertainment System for the first time. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun weekend. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, press start. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> this is great. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. Ooh, money, 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 money. Give me money. Oh, I'm gonna be big. Oh, big Mario. Big Mario, yeah. Oh, more money. Yeah. Oh no. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. 